What up, my friends? Welcome to Daisy's Garden. And today, uh, I wanted to start a new uh, type of video series that is called uh, Quotes That Float. Um, I like this because, to me, it means Quotes That Float is something that you that keeps buoyant in your in your consciousness. Something that is it's always there and it doesn't dip below the surface of monkey mind and uh, I don't know other gets gets lost in the jungle in the web of thought and beliefs and that jargon. So uh, this is just something that uh, I don't know. I wanted to uh, come up uh, not come up with a quote, but find a quote and then um, do a little bit of a in depth little discussion about it and why I think it's very cool and why I think it's important. Because these are some uh, quotes that have inspired me to um, live my life the way I do. Uh, so to start this one, uh, I'm going to do one by Alan Watts. And it is, once you've learned to think, you can't stop. And an enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable with silence. So, this is very cool because this applies to 99% of people, including myself, um, but I'm on the path to not do it, but when I'm speaking about it, I'm on that path too, because eh, it's kind of a paradox to explain being in the moment while you're not really in the moment and you're explaining how to be, you know, it's weird. It's a funny little paradoxical thing. Um, but everyone, you know, their monkey mind's always going. Their ego is always wanting and wanting and desiring more and more. And even when you get it, it's just not enough. And you just keep going. And it doesn't, it doesn't stop until, until you die. So this just helps you go with the flow of life, not just, I mean, obviously it's hard to always go against, uh, go with the flow, but you know, it's about being aware of the flow that you're riding and then it helps you connect back to it. So uh, this I like because it explains that, you know, since our monkey mind's always going, we always desire. And then of course, you know, in this physical world, we always, we end up going and doing things because, you know, that's what we desire to do. It's what we want to do. And then silence. Silence is funny because our minds are never quiet until we're sleeping or about to sleep. You know, a lot of people have troubles. I'm one of them. A lot of people have trouble sleeping because their mind can just go and go and go and go. And mine's like that, but mine's, um, I feel like more of like a philosophical, intellectual, thing with sleeping like I'll just get on a train of thought and it just keeps going and it's just it's very cool but you know it can be you know a little tiresome uh, after a while but um, it helps explain that you need silence truthfully you really do because if you don't have silence when you don't get what you want you get upset when you you get down on yourself there's so many little ways that we feel like garbage when it's very easy not to and it's a very simple thing to to get around and to just fully fully put yourself in into life and even with silence in person see this is we can view this very like literally you know physically when we're you know with a few friends or maybe just one friend when you're with people and if you just you know if you're by yourself and you're maybe in a in somewhere you know just kind of be aware of this People don't like to just sit in silence. People like, unless you're by yourself, you know, maybe I'm like one of those people, you know, I, I like silence a lot. Um, but when you're with people, and I still, I do that too, when I'm with people, I, you know, I like to converse with them, you know, I don't like a lot of, of silence when I'm with people. But, you know, I, at the same time though, I do realize that, you know, it, it's a very, Things can manifest, everything we see is manifested from a thought, you know, except for like nature, because of course nature, it just happens. But man-made things, like this apartment I'm living in, started with a thought. It manifested itself into this, this physical plane. So we don't like silence in our heads. It's going to come back to a physical form. And, you know, when we're with people, we're going to want to just talk and we're going to feel uh, awkward and anxious about silence when... Silence is 
beautiful. Silence allows for being. Silence allows for ego to dissipate and for the veil of it to be uh, lifted. And uh, there's a car alarm. I don't know if that's audible. So if you're hearing car alarm, I'm sorry, but okay, it's good. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I think that this really can resonate with you because as you're on this path, as I feel like I've been, you really, 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 you, your awareness peaks. Like you start becoming aware of like what you want to focus on, I guess, if that makes sense. Like you, you, on this path, you've realized like the things that you should be thinking about because of course your, your ego always wants to do things. So you do need that like, that weird like resistance factor of, you know, going against the flow sometimes because your ego needs to have room to, to breathe and just, you know, go do other things in some other universe that we're not aware of because if you're not aware of ego, then you're just being, but obviously your ego is probably do, off doing something and some kind of universe because, you know, things are just so much, so much more mysterious and magical and big than, than anybody portrays it to be. I mean, just existing, just moving my hands, talking to this camera, voicing these words, these words that come from nowhere, that come from just experiences that we've, you know, been uh, exposed to socially as we've grown up. You know, words are just external experiences. You know, words don't actually, you know, purely exist in a way. You know, they're just all experience that we've been exposed to and conditioned to for so long. And that's why we have this illusion of past and future. And we don't have, you know, a lot of us don't just live in the moment. You know, a lot of us like to, you know, live in the past or future. And that's how this happens. It's just social social conditioning and it's a bummer but you know it's just a, it's part of it you know so it's about overcoming it realizing our turn rate true nature and then uh going along with that um but yeah so i wanted to keep a little shorter video i want to make some little short videos too i don't want to um drag out a lot of them uh just because i like longer videos because i like to explain more but sometimes you got to keep it more more uh, short and sweet. So, but yeah, I wanted to start doing uh, more videos on quotes and uh, quotes that float and that are just pretty nice to keep in your awareness, you know, as much as possible. You know, keep some buoyant, you know? Quotes that float. I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, but all right, my friends, hope you learned something. Hope you took something from it because that's all, you know, that's the whole point of why I do this. It's just to share a positive message and I hope you're all having a great day if not you know it's gonna get better you know it will it's definitely gonna do that life does that breaks you down but picks you up so until then have some happy trails my friends and don't forget those nature bass and prana breaths to keep you grounded in the present moment see you later my friends <laughs>